the lately vanished Soviet Socialist Ukraine was once both the breadbasket and weapon shop for the old USSR. While if only for a touch of intrigue, this story initially unfolds in a city that was literally erased off the map for the fact it served as the ultra-secret missile center for the Soviet nuclear delivery system. Even to this day, it's still a city stamped with the Soviet DNA of repression. And nowhere is that more evident than across Ukrainian education. But forging a whole new educational model are Evgeny and Margarita Sotnikov of an applied scholastics tutoring network known as Logos. Having discovered study tech in Moscow with a first translated course in Russian, they immediately determined to bring it to their country. But owing to the rigidly structured state-run system, they knew they had to first establish a beachhead outside the system. They formulated their strategy against the org board, and so was born the Logos family of tutoring centers. It all began with the first Logos center in the Victory District. It brings a study tech curriculum to students at every learning level and embracing every subject tested on state exams, from the hard science of geology to chemistry and molecular structure, and from the aesthetics of the visual arts to English as a second language, which has now become Ukraine's single most important state exam. And while 40% of all Ukrainian children dismally fail those exams, an unprecedented 94% from APS Logos summarily pass the same said tests. All of which explains why Evgeny and Margarita were next mapping an APS advance to salvage students from all over the crumbling superstructure of Ukrainian education. First case in point was Logos Left Bank. It's just across the river from Logos headquarters and opened with considerable fanfare for the fact it's a place where children, once preordained for menial labor, may now ascend to untold heights. There was another known as Logos Alice. This one likewise grandly opened to accommodate an overflow from Logos headquarters and course rooms were indeed soon filled with students from surrounding schools and especially the neighboring high school. There was another yet again in an upwardly mobile topple district similarly opened with local fanfare and it was also another expressly designed to inspire the new generation of Ukrainian children. There was still another along the Black Sea at Odessa this one primarily for the children of merchant seamen and utilizing study tech to teach five to ten-year-olds elementary English. While for a sense of Logos expansion elsewhere across the Ukrainian map, they also opened doors in the industrial belt at the capital of Kiev, one for children from middle-income homes and another for the upper end of the demographic chart. There was another still again at Plant City, so named for the old aerospace plants and it was inaugurated by a city council deputy who bestowed his municipal blessings. All told, it was eight logo centers in full and all across the Ukraine, with better than a hundred tutors bringing study tech to bear. But when it comes to the overall grade point average, Logos acquired a license from the Department of Education, designating them as a fully accredited scholastic provider. Moreover, with that license in hand, Evgeny and Margarita initiated Phase 2, a study tech advance into the greater Ukrainian scholastic machine. As a first strategic step, the Logos executive director is dispatched to APS Spanish Lake. There she masters advanced APS skills, including, but not limited to, ways and means of bringing study tech into existing school systems, whereupon she emerges as a certified APS educator. All of which in turn brings this story to a sequence that meets every definition of national inculcation. It begins with a first advance into a Ukrainian Ministry of Youth and Family Affairs. All relevant documentation is presented, success stories, endorsements, 
not to mention passing rates of local students. While in reply, the Ministry of Youth and Family Affairs enters into an unprecedented partnership with locals. And so, the doors open to state-run schools. The first is an extremely typical middle school. Here it was basic study technology, and thus a tool to break any old line Soviet mold. There was another again at an equally regimented trade school, where students were provided the tools to remake their education under the banner of personal discovery. And so it went across every grade and academic arena, from liberal arts and foreign language in secondary schools to advanced science in high schools, from social engineering classes in so-called progressive institutions to hidebound elementary schools, better than a hundred institutions in all, until it was literally all over airwaves with clips of an all-Ukraine APS conference and a tagline that read, knowledge for use in life. And that's how Elerate Study Technology is stripping away the remnants of the Iron Curtain by revitalizing education for a new generation across a nation.